Uh, let's see. So we got Arc Sphere, Fueled Berserk. They'll be interesting. I don't exactly have a opener, and I don't have a good way. Ooh. I don't have a whole lot of enemy control. That's why I liked that whirling move. Well, let's see how much it matters. It, it might be okay. Main problem is, I do have a lot of knockback. Which does hold this build back a little bit. It'd be nice if I almost brought them closer. I guess I'd just get closer anyway. Ow. Boom. Nice part is I do actually have a decent amount of healing, so... Not so bad? I don't know. It'll offset it. I'll have to try with the signature charge healing at some point, because that could actually be broken powerful as well. Damn it. Come on! One thing I noticed, though, is uh, once you start getting hit sometimes, you just... it doesn't stop? Uh, let's see. Critical chance for all melee arcana. Oh, but we don't have enough money. That's why I like stuff like the Whirlwind to pull people in. Arc Sphere is kind of interesting. It does a bunch of damage. Uh, but the Whirlwind is nice for just gathering every enemy into a very small area. For you to wail on. There's a couple others that are equally good. I also kind of like the uh, the Phantom Brigade. Because the Phantom Brigade works as uh, just kind of a standard CC. It does a decent chunk of damage, but uh, they're just smacking enemies around left and right. Works well. I also... I wonder... Oh, uh, no. Don't enhance my Aqua Wave. Not right now. I need that... I need that... That sword. Let's see how much money I can grab here. Well. At least I do a decent chunk of damage. There we go. Oh, arms. It's pretty effective. Okay, so we can get that sword. Yeah, I want to up upgrade my Riptide, but I got to get that sword. That sword doubles or triples my crit chance or something. It's honestly kind of obscene from what I remember. I have lost myself in the fire. Which sucks a little bit, because they're pretty much just dropping slimes on my face the entire time. I know there's some people that are really into that thing, but oh, he's still alive. I was like, all right, we've killed them. I don't, I don't hear any more. The answer is, no, nope, that's the false. I also think it might be better to go uh, actually lightning. Oh, hi. Uh, it might be better to go Lightning Rail anyway. With this uh, specific healing build. It probably doesn't matter that much. I don't know. The trade-off is Riptide has really good coverage compared to most of the other, like, super speed hitter moves. The Rock Fist got kind of interesting at, after a certain point. Hello. Increases armor, decreases damage. Boost in armor, lose gold every time you hit. Defeating the enemies reduces, or regenerates health, but max HP is reduced. I'm honestly not sure I care about any of these. Are we 100%? Perfect. Oh, we can actually get both. Perfect. 
Okay, so we can get the Dark Katana, and we can get over here and grab Enhanced Riptide. Okay, so that makes me scary. Let's see. So, I really wish I could actually check what my, my crit rating is right now. I realize that, uh, that's what that mod does, but waiting on the update. Okay. Flat Gauntlet. Destroy enemy projectiles with basic, basic melee arcana. Pretty good. Wanderer's Mechanism's okay. Uh, Merchant's Card. Increases damage based on the number of relics in inventory, which is pretty good. And Tears of Midas. Oh, wait, that's when taking damage. Not sure if I like that as much. Okay, there we go. Decent amount of coverage. It's not perfect, but it's an amount. And I got loads of healing, too. I really like Fueled Berserk. I It's just fun, I guess. I don't know. It's fun and very effective. And you know what? Actually, I was kind of poo-pooing the, uh, the Arc Orb or whatever it's called. It's actually doing a great job for me. It's, uh... It's... Honestly, I think I'm actually healing more because of it than I am because of the... Kinda hoping I couldn't kill- I wouldn't kill those guys, but still. Uh, anyway, I think the- the orb- let's remember the name. Arc Sphere. There we go. That was close. Arc Sphere has a higher crit rating because it's lightning, and so it's doing madcap heals. Compared to, uh, most other things. Yeah, my, my Riptide does a decent amount. Now, it could grab Laced Lightning. I actually don't know if that counts as, as melee, now that I'm thinking about it. It probably doesn't, so I probably shouldn't. Oh, he's dead. Uh, let's see what else we have. Bows, hat, hat, magician's top hat. Oh, they they hit me just as I was activated. I was like, why did my spell not go off? And the answer is, oh, well, that's why. No, I didn't want to give him fuel berserk. Whatever. The problem is he doesn't actually give you an answer of saying yes or no. Well, I get it back anyway, so... And we get the updated version, so I'll take it. Okay. Oh, it even changed locations here. Can I pause? No. Damn. Come on. There we go. Way. That's really effective. I'm glad I didn't lose it. And we got raw chocolate, which Earth Drill when using a basic arcana. Yes. Okay, so let's switch it back. We're doing we're doing well. Uh let's see. We want to go back to start. Damn it. Anything up here? No. Okay, so I got 209. It's not as much as I was looking for. Do we want to do destroy enemy projectiles with a bait? Yes. I'd like the damage boost. I'd absolutely love the damage boost, but I, I don't think it's worth it. Okay, and that's a decent chunk of HP.
I should probably see what my top hat does. If I was paying attention. Worth it. There we go. That's really effective. And we get Tidal Blast. Oh, that's interesting. Pull in enemies with a series of water balls before blasting them away with a massive deluge. Summons an additional water ball to shield you while casting. Well, that's kind of neat. It'd almost be something I'd do at the end? I don't know. Okay. Well, we're lucky. We're going to air next. Okay, let's check the top hat. What does the top hat do? Chance to enhance any arcana and lower its cooldown. Oh, and required for the magician's outfit. Sure. That sounds pretty dang good to me. Yeah, that, that does a chunk. Especially if you crit with it. Orb. Okay, we got some co we got we got a decent combo going for now. Get out of here, birds. Yeah, cuz I can just bully them with the water blast straight into a wall and well, they honestly can't do much about it. And because I can destroy projectiles with my melee arcana, uh, that gives me a lot more project uh, protection. Okay, we don't want Aqua Vortex. Fading Zephyr. Oh, well, they, duh. So, we have Magnetic Follow-Up. Wow, really? I feel like Magnetic Follow-Up is almost programmed to drop when you have Fueled Berserk, because it's such a good combo. Get you out of here. Zappy zappy. I heard like a lock. That was probably the gate going away now that I'm thinking about it. Okay, well this ain't going smoothly. But that's okay. Yeah, those earth drills are real nice too. I want more of the uh I want more of the Kabi's stuff. The proc on hit moves are amazing if you attack really fast. And guess who attacks real fast? This guy. Evading Zephyr would be good too. Only you could afford both. It'd be okay. There we go. Destroy that. Drop some drills that direction. Yeah, it's all good. Okay. Destroys projectiles in an area when hit? No. Fully charged signature heals you. It's not a bad idea. Our cannon will not go on cooldown after use. Uh, let's see. We could grab the Journal of Midas. And you would be a horrible mage to fight. You basically have to wade past a rock-filled tidal wave. It's gonna get worse, too. Because I'm gonna add more rocks to this. Uh, let's go shopping. Actually, no, 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 no. We haven't found the deal with the not devil. And we should probably do that real quick. I don't entirely know what he has. So, tiny crocodile heart, sharpened stylus. I'm not actually sure if tiny crocodile heart is a good idea right now. But I'm doing it. Anyway, let's go grab magnetic follow up.
Rocks! Yeah, I, I melt some fools. Okay, we can also pick up that. I honestly don't remember what this one does. Uh... Oh man, this cheat sheet is lovely. Regenerate health when critically low HP. That... No, I don't think I want that one. I mean, it'd be nice, but my HP is just going to be crap if I do that. It damages you. Damages you. No, it reduces your max HP. It's actually... It's not a terrible item, but you don't want that with the tiny crocodile heart. Tiny Crocodile Heart is, uh... Yeah, it's a bit of an albatross. I'm not sure if picking it up here was a good idea. It could eventually be good. I, I mean. But yeah, it would reduce my max HP by like 30% or something like that. Which, like, if I had full HP or on, like, certain very specific runs... I can see it being good. Okay, Crocodile Heart's gonna be fine. Okay, uh, did we just- we just randomly picked up an item from that. That was a bit of a messy room, but you know what? Messy rooms are a bit of a specialty. Shoot. Okay, what does this one do? Armor of Resolve. Haven't seen this one. Armor while at low health. Well, that's nice. Excuse me. This is a no smacking me zone. Heck yeah. Alright, we've pretty much got my ace combo going already. Which I'm really impressed about. Because I normally don't... I don't normally get, like, my super amazing combo so fast. But here we are. Dude down if I've got my signature. Okay. Didn't want to fall off, but we're good. We're good. Okay, remember to breathe at some point. This is... Mm, spooky. There we go. I'm doing good, my HP is coming back, and it's gonna be better, better than ever. Ow. It kind of worked. It mostly did, but still. Okay, and nothing here. Uh, HP is at 250, max HP is at 435. That's not bad. I'm just going to be dropping, uh, I'm just going to be dropping, eh, maybe not so much AoEs, but, uh, just drop into a room and immediately just start spitting rocks at people. Because not only do I have the, uh, the proc drills, but I've, wow, that sounded weird. Uh, I've got the, the drill, uh, uh, drill procs, whatever. I've also got magnetic follow-up. It's lovely. Okay, so we could do double-edged Cestus. I mean, obviously. I don't actually care about any of my other damage. My my basic attack is my my damage. Okay, I mean, I get a little bit from the drill and some other things, but still. Uh, yeah, this is going to be pretty pretty good. I was hoping I get that.
Okay. Gotta watch my HP a little bit. Those guys hurt. He doesn't have as good of a uh, tell. Horse head! Oh. Well, I mean, the Equester cap is always welcome. I was just hoping we could be, uh... Have the Equester cap and the Wizard's hat going on at the same time. All of these would be kind of nice, but none of them really speak to me. I should probably just buy a, uh... I should probably just buy a healing potion and be done with it. Just one. That should be enough to keep me up. I'm gonna pop on the Discord and, and complain about the, the lack of the equestrian wizard. Because I, I, I'd really like to be have the horse head with the the hat on actually you know what before i forget let's let's just go to, go do that now uh let's see i i'm on their discord i've never left uh let's see wizard of legend let's see where's the suggestions bug reports uh, let's see Magician's top hat and equestra cap do not stack. So magician's top hat and equestra cap don't stack. Not unplayable, but very sad. All right, there we go. Uh, so bug, bug report has been filled. Uh, hopefully, hopefully they take it seriously because I feel like, I feel like for games like this, if you get modifications that, uh, that, you know, affect your, your characters, well. Oh, it's just that one. Let's see. I feel like if there's something that, you know, if your character can put a hat on, no matter what, you should be... Oh! You should, no matter what, be able to actually put it on. There we go. Whee! Enlightening! Oh, well, he's gone. I don't know. I, I like it when they stack up. It looks really cool and is fun. And I don't know. I hope they fix it because it'd be really cool to have... A horse head with a top hat on. I wonder if there are other hats. Because, like, I don't even care if it looks crappy. I just want them to all stack and look ridiculous in the process. Ow. Wow. Oh. There's the Mandragora dude hiding in there. I didn't even see that. They're annoying. Because they don't, they don't spawn in like the other enemies. They just come out of uh, trees and shit. It's not so bad, but... An unwelcome source of damage! Ow, ow, ow. Damn it. That kind of worked, kind of didn't work. Unfortunately, half my projectiles... I don't actually attack fast enough to, uh... I don't actually attack fast enough to, uh, to block all their shots, which is obnoxious. Nope, not you. Damn it. I'm in search of foes. I forgot how freaking aggressive the uh, tier 2 bosses are, slash could be, or tier 2, tier 3 bosses. Like, they get punchy by the time you get to this point in the game. It's a bit of a problem. 
Oh, let's see. Ah, oh, damn it. Oh, what else do we have? One problem is I'm... a bit tired. Which certainly isn't helping my case here uh, for for a solid play. Ah, oh, damn it. I wanted to dodge, but it wasn't working so hot. Well, no. I wanted to stunlock them, but they had dodges, so they kept getting out of the way. At least I get a decent chunk of HP just from hitting things. I really am glad for Vampire Glasses. It's probably a little bit overpowered. Maybe it, I feel like they're going to... They're probably going to nerf it someday. Maybe. We'll see. Hope they don't. Okay, what do we get? No. No. Yeah. Maybe. Probably? Uh, let's see. Increases all damage for enemy defeated. No. That's not really that helpful, honestly. I'm gonna just drop my Thunder Ball down. I think it does the least amount of damage out of all of them, which means it has the highest chance of healing me. And none of these guys are actually going to be able to keep up with me, so... Yeah, I'm just going to use this opportunity for free heals. Look at those numbers. Look at those beautiful numbers. Those beautiful numbers are going to keep me alive. And save me a whole healing potion or two. Do, 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 do. And part of the reason why I wanted the uh, dual edge Cestus is because the less damage this actually does, the more health I'm going to be able to gain. I gained like 100 HP from that, give or take, which is pretty good, honestly. Okay, there we go. Decent chunk. Okay, so how are we doing? No more enemies? No more enemies. And not much left either. Let's see. What do you have for me? I always forget how much damage everything can do in this game. It's, uh, it's one of those where it's like, you have enough health to tank some hits, but it's almost like attrition. It... Actually, now that I think about it, the damage ratio is about the same as Binding of Isaac. This game just affords so much less reaction time, but also, uh, so many fewer health pickups. like isn't that big of a deal but it's like I don't know okay so this guy will buy our goodies hello man that buys goodies what do we have well for starters we've got three gorgeous bulwark uh, we don't have a whole lot of that left can't drop that uh, let's see I'm gonna lose the equestra cap at this point too Mainly because I don't think the Equestor Cap's actually going to help me that much. Okay, so let's grab Roxel's Pendulum. I don't think the other stuff's going to be that handy, so let's grab the Healing Potion. Let's get out of here. Yeah, because the Horse Head is amusing and helpful for clearing levels, but, like, not that helpful in combat. And... I guess it's a matter of perspective. There we go. I don't think it's that helpful against the uh, last boss. I guess it would be good for, like, trying to run circles around him, but I don't think... 
I don't think it's actually going to work that way for me, unfortunately. Usually, like, you really have to dodge. It doesn't really afford much else. Ow? I mean, it's fine. My HP is stupid, actually. Wow. I don't think I've ever had this high of max HP from a run of this, in a run of this game. I think it caps out at 750. Arguably worth it. Oh. I almost got bipped by the Mandragora. Okay, well, we're doing fine. Nope. I've still got my boost. That's probably not going to hit anybody. Not Charge Knight? Bleh. Okay. There we go. Nope. Didn't work as as intended. Yeah, the main problem is uh they have such a short stun combo that if you clip them before they're before uh you're ready to actually wail on them. Uh that it I don't know. Hurts a bit. Gives them a good opening to just Wail on me. Well, he's dead. You're dead. Because you're slightly less dead. Those drills are handy. So what do, what do we got? Uh, Bladed Buckler is pretty good. And a little mod... Uh, monocle, absolutely. Let's see. Small chance of dealing massive damage with your crits. Wow. It's like I found my my build at the very end. All of those crit-related items are going to be obscene. It's been so long since I've seen this game being played by you. Yeah, I I cycle games often, and I usually leave them until I feel like playing them again. Uh, or just kind of never, it really depends. Uh, it's still one of my favorite roguelikes of all time. One of my main problems with it is it is actually really hard on my hands. Uh, so, like, I love, I love it. It's a lot of fun, but, uh, hoy. My, my fingers are already actually aching just a little bit from the, uh, from the friction of, like, moving around and whatnot. I know it sounds, like, silly, but I gotta, I gotta protect my hands. They're my, they're my livelihood. Wow. Okay. So those crits do... Dang, bitch. Yeah, those super crits do like 270... 70 damage along the way. Maybe you should switch games after this. Yup. That actually was going to be the plan. I just wanted to get one win tonight. Or destroy my hands. Uh, so I'm going to want to switch. I'm probably not going to go stupid late tonight just because. I wanted to do Hades, but I think I'm going to leave that for tomorrow. Uh, let's see. Well, that or uh, until a game gets a big update. Yup. Uh, let's see, golden armor, it's probably perfect. Alternatively, the Paranomicon. Now, nah, let's go the, grab the golden armor of Envy. The WoW Wander started early. Yeah, I think I started nine hours ago. Uh, and then I had to take down the stream for a bit. Wait, are we at 100%? Wow, tiny level. Weird. Oh, shoot. I can't lose that. What do I drop? No! Bye, bye Top Hat. You were rad, but I gotta have my glasses. Uh, let's see. And... Onwards. I mean... Yeah, onwards. I don't think there's anything else. Yeah, poor Hades keeps getting bumped. We could... Okay, screw it. Let's, let's do a run of Hades after this. My hand isn't that bad. But yeah, I it keeps getting bumped because I I'm tired and I've been like sick lately, sick ish. I get sick kind of it ish often. The problem is when you're oh, let's see, 
The problem is when you're you're at a microphone for hours of the day. Uh, let's see. Let's see. When you're at a when you're at a computer for like hours and hours every day. You get kind of Okay, there we go. Uh let's see. You get kind of sensitive ish. Uh Do I want that? Yeah, actually. We could use it instead of Tidal Blast for this next fight ish. We'll see. But uh I'm very sensitive to my state. You know, if I'm hungry, if I'm tired, if I'm feeling good, I'm feeling bad, I, so on and so forth. You know, it, it becomes quite obvious, to me at least. Let's see. And so it's one of those where it's like I can't I can't necessarily afford uh, to be in a mediocre state here. Well, I mean for this fight I'm probably golden. Okay, right. It's after his dark attacks. That's when he's vulnerable. I forget his exact combo. Ow. At least he's extremely vulnerable to my everything. Uh, let's see. Do I get a new chaos spell? Please tell me yes, because I deserve it. Uh, let's see. But yeah, so I don't know. I guess, I guess uh, being here and uncomfortable uh, it makes me into a bit of a whiner. I don't know. Anyway, give me a chaos spell. I deserve it. Please, new chaos spell. Yes, yes. Ah! Not the metal. Yikes, that was fast. I... The, uh... Crit cannon build Chaotic Buster. Yes! We got a new one. Uh... Crit builds are, are nuts. In this game, especially with rapid fire attacks and some other things. Uh, so you can do an insane amount of damage if you do it right. And, uh, yeah, I think I did that well. But yeah, we got a new chaos spell. No. Skip area. Yes. Get out of here. Get out of the museum. Okay, let's, let's go check out that new chaos spell that we just got. Hello. Let's see. It's a signature. Hold to charge up and release an unstable cluster of chaos orbs that unleashes a barrage of strikes on any enemy hit. Interesting. This seems like something... This seems amazing. In co-op. I don't know if I care so much about non-co-op. But like if I was working with another person, I could just sit here just spitting fire for like across the entire room. The problem is I'd probably get hit by this. Wait, I gotta test something. Okay, so it knocks them away. Interesting. Yeah, it seems a little gimmicky. I might still try it, but... It doesn't strike me as something that's going to be very strong on its own-ish. It probably does a bunch of damage. Still. But I don't know. Yeah, it might benefit from skill speed. Yeah, there's... Oh! Shit, I can just charge that up normally without even having it be fully charged signature. That's neat. But yeah, there is a confirmation. There are more Chaos Arcana. I am excited. Uh, let's see. I don't know how many ha we have left to grab. It also seemed like they turned a lot of the regular arcana into into uh, signatures, which is really cool. 
Fatal all attacks? No. Cotton candy? I mean, some of these would be kind of neat, but I'm just picking up signature spells. Yeah, so they really are just taking all of the old spells and some of the new ones and just straight up converting them into, uh... Converting them into signatures, which I'm really happy about because it means I have a lot more interesting options build-wise. Because originally, signatures were the, the biggest uh, handicap for this game, I guess. Because there was... Wow, this thing actually has a really high crit chance, I'm realizing as well. Uh, but, you know, there was only like four signatures per element, and many of them were like range-based or kind of weird. And I, yeah, I'm actually really, really looking forward to unlocking them all. So this game will be back, at least until we max the game out again. And then I'll probably stop again, because ultimately the new content, the new spells, the new relics and stuff, that's interesting. The new level and the new boss, they're nice, but it still doesn't add enough new to the game to really keep my interest, unfortunately. it It's one of those where the pure gameplay and the character side of things is so good. The enemies and the bosses, on the other hand, get a little repetitive. And I don't see that changing. I don't think I mind. I think it's mostly just an issue of somebody that's already 100% already 100 of this game to some degree. And then obviously, yeah, they, they move the goalpost, but still. So you unlock the devil in town now. Oh, shit. Yeah, there it is. So I assume explosive barrels randomly throughout the trials lowers cooldowns for players and enemies, increases enemy damage and speed. All relics and arcana are highly, heavily discounted. Chance to lose an arcana. Oh god, no! Hard pass on these things. I know one cloak available lets you get health regen, right? Yeah, it's not worth it though. You get one shot, like real easy. It's kind of unfortunate.